industrial society, Ruskin proposes the doctrine that ornament can only be the result of the artist's pleasure, and this would only come about when the barbarians would overcome the machines, and it would only be then that the art of the future will be forged. Unlike the Romans of the 4th century, we can't expect the barbarians from without. The barbarians come from within. Perhaps the only barbarian art which our society admits is the graffiti. Inevitably, of course, all our buildings are exposed to the spray gunner's efforts and the element in the graffito is not the human figure. It is the letter form. Maybe the barbarians are teaching us something that we don't yet understand. Now time at 22 and a half million pounds, at 22 million 500 thousand pounds for the last time. Maybe the way out of our impasse, if there is one, must be in looking for such minor crumbs of comfort. What is this thing called bombing? Bombing? Yo, Glenn, who called girl what bombing is? Yeah, you want me to get flip on the word bombing? Turn the word bombing to a beautiful sound. See money and rim rock all around the town, all the cars on the train. Be looking so bright, blasted full of color in the middle of the night. The night chilling in the park, that's my domain. Living in a city full of hate, full of pain. Living in a city where you got to pay. Surviving a night to live another day. Bombing, bombing, keep on. Bombing, bombing. Cause there is no mask. Give me jack. Son of a gun. Keep it the beat bumping. I keep the rest jumping, jumping. 24, 7, 3, 6 to 5. Bombing in the thing that keeps me alive. Bombing, bombing. Wake up, grab my bait, take a look at the time. Whip out my tools and grab my outline. Got a little bit of stimmel, a little bit of sex. Hook up my style and make it complex. Meet the few, meet the proud, the T.A.T. crowd. We be rocking the lines, and I say it out loud. Rocking the style, that's on top of the pile. T.A.T. outlines, all in your foul. Bombing, bombing, keep on. Bombing, bombing. Hip-hop is a tough time over there the same way it does here. But it's the outlaw music, it's the renegade kids, you know. Yeah. But uh, one of the best things we can get out of this is a sense of communication between the kids here and the kids over there. I mean, that's really the basis for the whole show. That's the idea, to bring this sort of Zulu Nation message from, you know, from here to over there. I think that's a good idea, man, that you should go to England and France and spread Zulu, man. I think Zulu should be a positive thing all over the world. Well, our people from the Zulu Nation, meaning our DJs, our rappers and stuff, you know, we for different causes, we would go over there and shock the house. Hip-hop sold it up. How does the brass one work? Well, we can set it up so you do some painting, and the kids all come and they ask you about style and technique, and they want to know how to do it. Got the right man right there, right. full of brim. I'm gonna go there and grab it. Oh. All right, we have to do yeah, graffiti workshops as well. What's this? You're gonna be given hip-hop school? That's right, it's gonna be a school for hip-hop. <laughs> Oh, you handle the funk. <laughs> like Bam said, rock shock it, you know? Let them know the Bronx is coming. Tell the government. Them is coming to rock their graffiti world. <laughs> Go on, bro. Now, for many people, graffiti is um, just another sign of how scruffy the modern world has become. But across the Atlantic Ocean, some graffiti has now been elevated to the status of an art form. And with us, Brim Fuentes, 
the graffiti king of the New York subway. Have I pronounced your name correctly, sir? Yeah. And how, how long have you been doing graffiti? Since 1979. How old were you then when you started? 15. Did you just begin with the aerosol spray can because there was nothing else to do in the South Bronx? Well, yeah, I began painting, painting on the trains as a sign of, like, expressing myself and doing something useful instead of just, you know, standing on the streets, you know, getting into fights and stuff, you know, doing, producing something. You know, I used to like to see the trains ride with my name across it, and it made you feel like you were somebody, you know, living in a place like the South Bronx. I mean, we can have a look, actually, at one of um, Brim's completed uh, graffiti. Um, there it is. I'd, I'd have no difficulty in looking at that and, and pondering over it and wondering just what it is. It looks as if you're spelling out a word in the middle. Can you tell it's me? It's freedom. F oh, freedom, my big one. I didn't see the detail. Freedom it's art. It's the first time anybody's ever done anything like this. And you're not just talking about the first time we've done anything like this. It's the first time it's ever been done. And it's a of um, it's Yeah, but you see, there are very few places that actually um, are catering to teenagers like the shops doing. So, I mean, it isn't just, you know, graffiti. We are, we are actually trying to bring another dimension to this whole sort of hip-hop culture. What's the difference between a culture and a fad? I thought that was obvious. Few N to you. N for nuts. Yeah, bye bye. Hello, Brian. Hi, how are you? Jane Alfred, something. Yeah, I'm very frazzled. I've got massive things for you. Look, listen. Listen, I must tell you, we got through immigration, no problem whatsoever. The whole lot got through. Balm, Lisa Lee, I can see, no problems whatsoever. Well, look, the calls so, I've taken this morning Standard, The Mirror, Sunday Times. Who else? Oh, God, yes. Yeah. Now there's all the radio people that are coming along to actually interview both. Brim and the kids that are there, you won't mind giving interviews and things. No, no, no. It's tomorrow. good because a lot of it seems a lot of people don't understand. A lot of people are talking in the point of ignorance, you know, yeah. calling me a vandal, whatever they're calling me. They don't, they don't understand what I'm doing. They don't even understand what it's about. They ain't never seen graffiti. But it isn't just the graffiti work. What we'll be doing is, in that previous week, we were doing scratch mix workshops. <laughs> Do you want to go? Then Lisa Lee and the Jill. Rampology classes. Does anybody want to try? <laughs> Women of the world, no matter the race. Women of the world, no matter the race. To stand in the place, because these own the case. To stand in the place, because these own the case. Who else wants to try? When I say something, you're going to repeat what I say, okay? Throw your hands in the air and listen to me. Throw your hands in the air and listen to me. You listen to the voice of MC Lisa Lee. Listen to the voice of Charlie C. We've done this as though it was classical music. You know when they have master classes, yeah, yeah. Um, the cello and all that sort of thing. Well, we're having master classes in the whole of hip hop culture. Um, <laughs> Now, we got DJ Red Alert who plays on 98.7 Q. Ultimate, 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 Uh, uh -huh. And I understand from reading some of our more colorful papers that uh, you invited some uh, hooligans and thugs from our fair New York City over here for a festival, is that right? Well, yes. Um, I take <laughs> I take issue with you over hooligans and thugs. <laughs> but I'd very much like to talk to Brim and film some of the workshops. Right. Well, I'm sure that would be okay. Um, just as a matter of interest, what what kind of angle are you going to take on this? Is it going to be positive or oh, no, negative? Purely, purely salacious and, and degrading, I can assure you. Right, right. <laughs> but, but basically, it's a curious phenomenon for, for the Americans to see that kind of culture exported to the English. Oh, please. Right. And we will probably do a very funny angle. Right. It'd be humorous. You hope. Later. Well, the story is basically this uh, New York graffiti right. artist. Uh, right. Came up, he's come to England and he's... Uh, there aren't many things we Americans can teach the Europeans about art. But this 19-year-old school dropout, ex-drug user and ex-criminal from the Bronx, has been holding seminars in London and Paris. 
you know, it just you mess around with cats to get a different graffiti art thing. is the latest rage yeah. over here. And Natalio Fuentes, who's better known among his millions of fans as Brim, is the Pied Piper of spray paint. I help these kids. I tell them, hey, don't take no drugs. Hey, don't steal. Don't, don't, don't scribble on the walls. If you're going to do something, ask permission. You know, you know I, that, that kind of influence. I'm not telling these kids, because I could easily tell these kids, hey, destroy the city, and, and, and they would do it. And a lot of people are afraid that armed with the drive for self-expression, Brim's disciples will pan out and deface one of the world's most beautiful cities. What counts like people's opinion, but if people start seeing stuff that didn't take no effort, you felt like painting, so you went out there and painted, didn't even have nothing planned, and they're going to say, hey, it's, it's, it's not art, man, it's just kids fooling around together. I'm talking about when you're planning out on paper, before, oh, you, you, before you go to the wall, how far do you go? You do, the, you do only you the outline, outline. You, just, yeah. you, you sketch it, you know, and you keep on sketching it until you can do it in your face. You know, so you do the colors on the spot, though, that's... Yeah, the, 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 the colors are, you know, it's like motion painting, you know, boom, 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 you know, so whatever you feel that day. You gotta practice, 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 man, so you gotta sit down, you know. Staying in England. I don't know, maybe about another week, week and a half, two weeks. So we have time to fix it, man, because I do want to do this wall, man. This wall could be so devastatingly fresh. Yeah. And don't stop to, to you can't paint no more, you know. Another thing that you might be interested in, Bob, actually, is we had a call from British Rail for Brim to do a wall. New York graffiti style, is it? Right? Yes. That'd be terrific. Yes. Yeah, I have to press the guy in the month off. That's right. You're going to be all for some time. I'm going to lie. It's going to be so fresh. Well, I think really? we need something. We need the whole of the wheel. But if we need to get into the top, this hit is going to come up here halfway to the top. You know, it's like Felicity. Yeah. Okay, let's 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 do let's do the couple of yeah, them. Okay. You think it's nice? It ain't finished, you got a lot to go. God can't it when it's finished. Why you say that for? Hmm? Why you, why, you, why you act like I, that I for? don't understand it. So just because you don't understand something, you put it down right away? Yeah, I'd rather put something down from the wall than just that. But if you don't understand it, so just... you could understand. See, that's the whole thing about this whole movement, is, is to try to understand other people's life and, and other people. If okay. I didn't understand you and understand the way you were, I wouldn't put you down. You know, I, I'll try to understand, and if I don't understand... Well, they are, they are in the country. Look at it. Every day there's somebody, somebody's killed. I mean, every time you'd put a tiny bit But they say you killed somebody. Somebody's got killed. I mean, it isn't Britain anymore. I don't know about it that. It's not it it anymore. I don't understand. But it isn't easy exporting America's hip hop culture to those who aren't hip. And then we have to copy America? Lady, <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 the a young American with a foreign policy crisis, trying to make his mark on European culture without defacing it. Mike Lee, ABC News, London. I just had a call from Ruskin College, Oxford. Oh, no. Okay. Barbara? Yeah. They want him to do a class, to lecture to their fine art students. <laughs> oh, my God. Oxford is um, a really old university town. I mean, it's centuries old from Yale or Harvard or any of that. I mean, it really is, yeah. And it's all um, dreaming spies.
never really understand what graffiti really is unless you live around abandoned buildings and, and cars that are burnt and stripped. Once it gets into art galleries and respectable places, it kind of loses its, its value and its fight. And graffiti on the trains, that's our museum, museum, you know, that's our art gallery. And if like a train that I do comes into the station, they'll be like examining this shit. <laughs> you know, like, if I was to go to like an art school and, and show them graffiti, and I walk in there with my portfolio, you know, <laughs> full of pictures of trains, and they'll tell me to get out because I was, you know, like, you know, criminal and shit, like a wanted criminal. Then if you like, like want to draw some stars, go like that. Yeah. Now, so you, you highlight the piece, like, you know, it look, it look much different and better if you did the, the piece, you know, with, with colors and a full wall and stuff, you know. But that's you keep on. painting and you write over it, that's cause to get your ass kicked right there on the spot, right? <laughs> you just try to outdo each other, it's like the whole, yeah, heavy competition, you know, and it's, when you, when you think about it, just, you know, trying to be positive, man, trying to create, the, the whole final thing of graffiti, it's doing something positive, because I could easily just go out there and smoke angel dust and, and be crazy, and right now be in the 125th Street on a station half dead, you know, not knowing like, like some of my friends are. They haven't found an outlet to, to funnel their feelings and shit, and they're just walking around the Bronx doing nothing and having no aim in life. You know, their only aim in life is to, to go out there, get a brand new pair of sneakers, nice fat laces and straight leg pants, iron nice, you know what I'm saying? It might sound silly, but this is, this is the way they feel, and this is the way they, they could show up to the world that they, they got, you know, that they got something, you know what I'm saying? When really in reality they don't, you know what I'm saying? When they, but they could show to the world that they do have something, man. So, you know, like, this graffiti and this whole hip-hop thing goes way, way beyond the final, you know, piece. It's the whole struggle and, and trying to help, you know, kids get out of the, the ghetto and go on the right road, you know? That's about it. Get, get ready to get out of here. <laughs> Michael Winner, does that name ring any bells with you? He's a film director. Um, he's doing a film called Death Wish 3 and he's recreating it on a lot in Pinewood or something like that and wants you to um, add a touch of authenticity by right. giving a bit of yeah, but graffiti. That, that Death Wish 3, it always be making look like the, the Puerto Ricans and the blacks in New York look like the animals, man. Right? They just want to want me just to write my name all over the place and make it look bad. They're not going to want to see, you know, good graffiti. <laughs> all the movies is like Charles Ross and Comics and boom, 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 kill all the... The hood, the black party, you can hood, never, never nobody could. Well, Gentlemen, the streets are full of degenerates, killing each other indiscriminately. Arrest them! See the first two death wishes? Well, the third, he goes to uh, Brownsville in East New York and kind of uh, befriends some elderly people in an apartment block of all races who are terrorized by street gangs. And eventually the whole neighborhood rises up against the street gangs led by Charlie Bronson. And there's a kind of goodies versus baddies, almost World War Three. Well, what they've got in this area are very dilapidated old apartment houses, mainly Victorian 1900-ish apartment houses. We're going to dirty all that down so it looks very grubby. Uh, and they're still inhabited. They were once uh, middle class, in fact, largely Jewish area originally, and now it's largely Hispanic and black area. 
I actually saw a train in York the other day with no completer. No. Huh? Because I'm over here. That's because you're over here, <laughs> absolutely. You better get back to him. The trains are getting away. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't shave, really. I suppose I did. <laughs> Gentlemen, this will be a wonderful movie. I want every wall to be looked at. Don't look at the actors on this movie. Look at the walls. Forget the script. Forget the story. Look at the walls, and if you see them sign, look harder. Is that right, Brim? It'll be sensational. Oh, it's fantastic. From Pages Guardian. That's the quality pen. That is the brand new. What? I suppose we should have expected it, actually. But look. So what is good if they don't like it? Well, yeah, it for but doing I mean... It for the kids. Stealing it. Yeah. Stealing guns and all. You make, he you, changed you it make around. You make it sound like yeah. a gangster. Oh, you're kidding. Hang on, wait, I don't see Jean. Uh, Jean, they're queuing already. Really? Yeah. Oh, great. How many? They've not tried to suppress it. And um, where's the answer? The queue is now forming down Houston Road. Exactly. They haven't been able to suppress it. <laughs> Okay, we're going to take it from the top, the second half. That's Red Alert, Ike C, Jazzy Joyce, Lisa Lee, and Bam Bottom, please. Where is Red Alert? Where is Red Alert? Let's go, quiet. We're going to run straight through to the bottom. There's some people that aren't here, but we're not going to stop, okay? Let's go. The show has never been seen by anybody. What's going on here? London, are you ready? for a piece he's gonna do on my wall and shit. Yo, um, here you go right here. Hello? Yo, what's up, man? 
Just rocking stuff over here, bro. All right. <clears throat> yeah, man. Doing a show. A lot of people, man. Yeah, they want me to go all over the country, man. Right. Meet people and everything. That's cool. Word. But it's kind of, I don't want to go by myself, man. So, you know, I could bring somebody. Yeah, yo, I got this person in mind, man. Who that? Me. <laughs> you swear. <laughs> now, you want to come down? That's why I, was, that's why I called. Yeah, I'm down. I'll go out there. Alright, guys, swift. I'm gonna send the tickets, I'm gonna make all the reservations tomorrow. Alright. Alright, so all yo, right. you, cool you out, just man. pull out, man. Alright, all right, later. Watch it, I got this one right here. Look at this, look at this character, oh, yeah. the big head. <laughs> look, at, look at his head, his I whole body is bigger than, look, his laces are dripping. Yo, what's the new record, man? Yo, man, man, body came out the fresh. Yeah, man, body got this fresh new record out, homeboy. Yeah. Street record. You got the, excuse me, you got the new Africa band body record in family? Yeah. Yeah, man, this is gonna say. Yeah. Yeah, this is shit. Mm. Word, can you, you play it? Area. There ain't not nothing else for anybody around here. That's why everybody comes together. Yeah, I don't work. It's you don't work. Thing, you want to work, though, right? Yeah, man. But it's, it's not really making any sense. Most people going to work and doing these working schemes for 25 pounds because it's cheap labor. At the end of the 12 months, you're expecting to get a permanent job. When you go out there, the factory is closing down. 
you got to put a fight, man, you know? You can't, they, no, people can't push this around like that, man. You know what I'm saying? And the only way to do that is through education. Because it's, it's, you know, that's, that's, that's where the power is, man. Education's gone as well. Brain education. Brainwashing. Brain don't teach you what you really want to know. Like me, I'd like to want to, if I was at school, I want to know in Africa, Jamaica, what about England, kings and queens? Because it doesn't really concern me. It's like you, where you come from, you want to learn at your roots. Same thing with God, you want to know his roots. That's why, that's why we started hip hop. Because, you know, I can't relate to no ballet. I ain't no ballet, and I don't listen to no classical music. True. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I don't want, and I don't want to hear no, no Elton John. I want to hear, you know, Grandmaster Flash or, or, or Africa Bambata. So they could have the newspapers, they could have the television program, but I could have the trains, and I could have the walls. And I'm going to keep it along, and I'm going to make sure that before I die, you know, people can know what happened in the South Bronx, what happened here, you know, in, in, in Wolverhampton, Britain, um, um, Birmingham, Bristol, London. Yeah, it's just about spraying, like, just pretty colors all over the place. Spraying something more people can now me refer to, man. If you speak, if you can't speak it like this, you might as well speak it on the walls, man, or speak something like that. If you can't say it, yeah, spray it. Yeah, yeah, man. I feel good about today, man. We're gonna get swift. Yeah. Hopefully, man, they all just stay together, man, because this is making history, bro. Definitely. This is, this is serious. Yo, serious shit. This is making history, bro. Yeah, we're in the middle piece. We're in the middle piece. I, I got the middle. I think it's very interesting that the, um, a lot of the stuff, the, the, the lettering is the, is the key to it. Right. Because, um, and if some art historians think that the letter form is going to be the big um, motif in painting this century, and it's going to replace the human figure as the central motif in painting. And it's like a whole new art form almost. Just stop here a minute. Just want to introduce ourselves. I'm Dave, and this is Steve. How you doing? Well, you're the mule around the corner. Good to have you in Birmingham. Thank you. This has been funded, this thing, by the County Council in the Midlands. Is there, is there any chance you could fund something like this in America from a local council or a city council? In America, you, know, you rarely get this kind of stuff, you know? you know? Like, the muralists are the ones that get all the stuff like this, you know what I'm saying? Because in America, I'm, like, seen as a, a, the biggest vandal, you know? Hi. I'm sorry, Pat. Hey, Phil, we did the mural around the corner. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You were... Uh, 3D. 3D. Yeah. Why are you doing this? Really? Well, I've been doing it for years, you know, about two and a half years, yeah. It was nothing to do with the hip-hop culture as it was then, you know. It was just like getting into it, messing about, and then it got a bit more serious. Right. And then everyone sort of grew up together, you know, and they everyone started in different towns and everyone got to know each other, you know, and then... We have a look at the working drawing for this one. Yeah. This is just this, just this one. It's a reinforcing character. So your stuff normally has a political centerpiece? It depends. I mean, I've done pieces like The Day the Lord Died, which is like a, just a fantasy. It's not sort of a, an anarchist statement or anything. But it's, it's in a way saying that graffiti's taking it, you know, and uh, the law can't do anything about it when we're out there at night doing it. Mm. That's what it's saying. Art freedom. I've made my art bigger, so the F is kind of encapsulated in the art. Your working drawings are always just finished, are they? Yeah, I always finish. Well, colour studies and... Yeah, I always do colour studies and an outline. I've got an outline book, but I've already got the outline up here. So I know what I'm doing there. And are you just scared it's built by eye? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got nerves still. <laughs> it's unusual to have four different groups working on the thing at yeah. the same time. It's never happened to you before. We normally don't work like this. Because then they be biting. That's, you know, they copy your style, they see the way you do it. You know what I'm saying? And they try to imitate it. They go. Yeah. Do yeah. you ever have any arguments working? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Sometimes we battle. Same thing like here. You know, and then at the end they just let the people judge, you know, whose piece they like the best. Well, look at this piece here, right? Yeah. It's, it's more like an artist spray, you know, with a spray gun, compared to this piece here. Yeah. Like, this is, this is more down to earth. More spray. Just it's a pure writing. Like, Brim, he's used the his outline of bubbles and edging like clouds. And, the, and his friend next door to him, he's used a lot of cloud. He's used characters. Yeah. Instead of actually using a letter. And same on the Bristol piece as well. They're Goldie. Goldie. It's coming out swift. The colors are kicking, man. 
Yo, D, justice for all. Say it loud and spray it proud. Cool, it's fresh. Yo, D, this is Heath Townman. This is where I show my work. My own little log gallery, man. <laughs> yeah, man. How many pieces do you have this neighborhood, right? 57 now, something like that, man. 57 in this neighborhood. Just when we first started to cover this place, you know, it was just like, it was seen like a reverse thing, you know, like it was against it. But now it's like the graph's got, it's just like taken over, man. Take it away, take the graph away now. It's just like people look, this is a blank wall. You know what I mean, it's, yeah. it's like the people who come here from Birmingham and stuff, they need to look at this stuff and everything. Yeah, they're like Sheffield or whatever. They look on for to look, man. Like they don't, you know, a lot of people when they come up here, they think, God, how could this be here, man? <laughs> this is where it's most important, isn't it? Because this is where, where you're doing it. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, man. You know, these estates, they try and throw people away on these estates, don't they? I'm telling you, man, it's just like... So they can do business as usual, isn't it? Concrete jungle, man. Eventually, people will realize that you can't look at blank walls forever, man. Yo, Brim, I took it to my old yard, man. This is where my first real graph sat on the walls in my room. But I want you to see it, man, you know, like how it all began. There's no electricity here? No. This is my room, man. This was home, man. It's where we used to meet, man. It's where we used to talk about graffiti, man. People used to, anyone seen come in this bedroom, I had some sort of wild stuff up there, man. And I never wanted to leave this, man, because they took it away from me now. It's always going to be there. I always come back and I'll say it was always here. This is where it is, man. This is where it was, man. You took pictures? Like, yeah, I took pictures and shit, man. I got pictures of it. Well, little fair, though. Who fronts on Africa Bambata? Zulu and Emily. Some B boys, man. The Zulu kings. I wonder if Bambata knows how much he influenced people. Influenced me. Zulu kings, man. B boys. Statue of Liberty. Oh, look at that face, man. She's got a, she got a face of steel, man. <laughs> but that's the only thing I could find to refer to in America, man. It's in New York, anyway. She doesn't mean nothing to me, man. But she's standing up for justice. That ain't me, bro. That ain't, that ain't real, bro. That's, that shit is for everybody else, you know? Because my father always, always told me, you're trying to beat the system, Junior. You're trying to beat the system. You ain't going to beat the system. Sometimes I think about it. You're surrounded, man. You're just surrounded. But I think about that. And then I think about, is it all really a dream? You know? Because I already got a kid, man. Because I can't buy no food with no pictures of trains, man. It's just life, you just tell them I didn't try to get my kid out of the ghetto, though, bro. Well, I don't know. I don't want my kid to go through what I went through, man. I'll tell you that much. But I just hope, man, that 20 years from now, you know? You got a graffiti? That's all one piece, man. It's just one piece in the jigsaw. It's all you put other things, man. I just hope I'm doing the right thing, man. You put your mark down like this isn't going to be a legend, man. I mean, you know what is coming over here? Just spread the weight over here, man. I mean, we're going to start making our own kind of movement, man. To join me with a fight kind of thing, because it's not a fight for funny games, it's a fight for life and what you want to do, man. Yo, B, where's this place at, bro? Yo, D, said we see some people, man. Yo, man, this is like a train yard, dude. Word. Yo, we don't find this party, man. I'm gonna go home, man. I don't know, what's up, man? Yo, what's that over there? Yo, man. Where'd they go? I hear some music, man. We gotta be down here. Let's follow them guys, man, see what's up. Yo, man, my time is on this. This is it, right? Hell yeah. Yo, D, where you been, man? Hey, hey, hey. Hey, what's up, man? Yo, Yo let's go to the party, man. Let's go to the party, man. Go over here. Oh, yeah. 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 Your mind about appreciate it. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, 
man. This is that place over there, bro. Yeah. That used to be a supermarket, look at it now. The barbecue. All over there, devastated. Got burnt down. The whole place, man. Who burnt them, though? Who burnt, you know, what happened? It was like a race riot? What kind of riot? Nah. You said everyone thinks it's just blacks against the Indians, right? It's not that at all. If it was black people that owned them shops, they'd still get robbed. Right? And they still get burnt now. It doesn't matter who owns them, right? So we just people getting deprived for not having anything for a while, man? Yeah, no. that... Put it this way, Brim, right? I personally didn't go out there kicking doors off shops and all that madness, right? But I can understand. Same time, I can understand the people who did. Getting tired of being suppressed and having nothing, man. That's it, you see. Working and working all week and coming That's home it. with nothing. And... The madness about it is when the camera crews and all of them come down here, right? They go straight to the police. They, you'll never find out the truth that way. Yeah, People to talk to is these guys, us I, guys. Hey guys, start the beat, man. Come on, get the beat, man. <coughs> Stronger, man. <coughs> okay. <coughs> okay, Bill, this is for you, right? And call it right in the answer, right in the answer, right in the answer, no. Right in the answer, right in the answer, right in the answer, no. Come catch it, right in the answer, right in the answer, right in the answer, no. How do I know I saw it on the TV show? I look a lot that, I heard it on the radio. News reports to said they're writing down the Soho. So I jumped out of my bed with my trousers and shoes. Not one second did I lose. I went next to the riot, they were stepping on my toe. Now guess what they were carrying? A brand new video, the name it. Right in the answer, right in the answer, right in the answer, no. Right in the answer, 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 no. Right in the answer, right in the answer, right in the answer, no. How do I know I heard it on the radio? A piece of amber butter, but none to have a chat. They talked about this, but wouldn't talk about that. Anyway, the most exciting issues when the cops said to Bam, please, Bam, you have to help me. All the African Zulus are coming after me. They said, Zulus, what do you mean, Zulus? You see Zulus wearing shoes? Zulus, what do you mean, Zulus? You ever seen Zulus wearing shoes? Right in the answer, right in the answer, right in the answer, no. Right in the answer, right in the answer, right in the answer, no. As you can see, the whole place is in shutters. And how do you explain that? Unemployment. Everything. Well, unemployment. Well, unemployment doesn't mean... If you look at the activities of the police themselves inside a community, you can see the problem. It became right? obvious that Mr. Hurd's walkabout would have to end very quickly if he was to get out right on the road. Right 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 how do I know I saw it on the TV show? I tried to circle him down, but they would not listen. I tried to cool him down, but they would not listen. I said, man, I want go down and miss that thing. So come my brother help me carry the thing. It's not because he's not Indian or because he's black. It's just a simple reason and the simple fact that we got no money, we got no money. It's because we got no money, we got no money. It's because we got no money, we got no money. It's because we got no money, we got no money. That's why we write in the answer, write in the answer, write in the answer, no. Write in the answer, write in the answer, write in the answer, no. So listen everybody, just listen to me. The reason why they write is they got no money. You have to understand and see from this side. All the cops ever do is kick him up the backside. I mean, that's just it, man. You know? Start, started. Say it started at the top, right? They knew all the shots were down here, you see. And by the time they got to them shots, the cops had moved in. What's this? That was being built or got uh -huh. knocked down? They were building something there and the shot right there. What are they doing now? Why, why they have it all blocked off? I don't know. I don't know. Huh? I don't know. Why is the road blocked off? Oh, don't ask questions. Don't ask questions. Oh, I don't. Why is there so much police here? Are you community cops? Excuse me. Are you a community cop? No, basically. But are you a community cop now? Are you, are you with the community policing? Everybody. Then why don't you communicate? You can't be a community cop if you don't communicate. A year ago, I could stand up and have a conversation with a cop all day. Now suddenly this happens, you don't want to talk to us. You want to talk to me about dancing? No, I don't want to talk about dancing. I'm, I'm just asking you. I'm not here to hassle you, right? You're not well, here you to hassle me. see everybody dancing? What's wrong with dancing? Isn't dancing better than fighting? No, so then why can't you say you start dancing? Oh. Dancing? Why, 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 what makes you think we just dance? They think people don't got no more minds than that. <laughs> you think we can't do anything else but dance? It's quite obvious that we can. 
I mean, when, when you're talking about it to people down there, they say, oh, yeah, yeah, we know, we know, because it's happening to them, it's all new. You try to talk to someone from far, right? They probably won't even believe you. It's so devastating to them, they probably won't even believe you. So they end up not believing you. I believe you don't man, get I come from the same worse, worse than, you know, what's yeah. there. You might not, you might not believe it, but where, where we come from, it's worse. This is, this is normal South Bronx. This is normal South Bronx, all right? There ain't no good places, and you can't beat the system, because we're not part of the system. So you just came back from England? Right. What, what parts you just came back from? I went all over, man. All over. I was chilling where the rides were and everything. Oh, yeah, I heard about that. It was having rides up in Birmingham and South London and Brixton again. Hell yeah. And, and it makes you wonder, the way it is over here in America, you know, we think we got it bad, you know, and they think they got it bad. But it's everywhere it's like that. It's the same, same thing, man. It's, just, oh, yeah. it's the same. It's definitely going to be an uprising for social change. Everybody in the world wants to work. We need a working class, something that deals with economics that will bring about change for the people. You know, you got to do something before a riot happens or somebody gets killed or somebody got to be sent to the hospital. So we got to organize and stuff and, you know, let them know that we are rebuilding and getting ourselves together and we're not going for the type of system that they're giving us. <laughs> I don't believe we're in there. Word. <laughs> Word, bro. We're just gonna get out there and just... Nah, he's massive. Them two buildings, man. Your fingers are fell on you, man. You know what I mean? Just that ant in the city, man. It's absolutely massive, man. Look at it. Look at it, man. Yeah, I bet that's Brooklyn over there. I bet, yeah. Just don't forget, this is the end of Manhattan Island, isn't it? So it goes round, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, what we'll do, right? We'll find Bill and Boyle. And we'll try and check out BAM as well. I'm saying where BAM's at and whatever's happening. And take it from here, where, that's where we are now. We follow the it's red one line. Thing, right? Yeah, I think it's one, two, but three. But then she said it's chain somewhere around the other thing. Hold on, follow it up there. Where's the Bronx? This is the Bronx. The Bronx is up here. Up to number one. That's it. Yo, man, finally made it, man. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Yo, we've got to be around here somewhere, man. Look at the tax, man. Just follow the tax. Spend this bit. Yo, man. There's a fat boy. Just buy all the muscles, man. This is built up, man. Yo. <laughs> Big man. Shit. You go, you go wide, man. Really? Yo, you can't young Bram. <laughs> you know, really? Really? It's cool, man. How you got over here, bro? Huh? How you got over here? It's up there, boat. There you go. Playing, man. Just... I'm kidding. Yo, man. hey, we've been doing a lot, man, since you're done, man. Put the train up here, you know, from the South Ferry. You know how much graph on there, though? I don't know what we was on. It's just tags, all of the nah, tags. Man. Our generation is getting too old to just be doing this, man. Yeah. I don't know. We yeah, I have not know. I don't know. We like, we're not, we ain't quit, but we just chilling, man, because there's yeah. a lot of things to do. We got to uh, work and all that. Stuff. You got the kids to look after, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Maya went bombing. He got arrested. They caught a pin burglary on him. Tell me about it. I went out there pulling trains and wound up getting caught for something else that I didn't even do. That's you do it and you do it and you do it and you just, you know, yeah. you get arrested, you get a record. Being at the wrong place at the wrong, wrong time. time. You keep on, you know, so many things you gotta battle, man. You know, I can't do it for much longer, man, if I don't get nobody to... Yeah. Yeah, the young guys should come up, man. You like these guys, you know what I'm saying? No, all the youngsters, are getting, you know, no reinforcements are coming, man. There ain't yeah. no reinforcements. How long can we take it, man? You know what I'm saying? Well. Yeah, but you in England. <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 yo, we buy one, grab one. They did some stuff in the handbook. Yeah? Yeah, okay. yeah, it's good. You got a piece over there. Step, yeah. Anyway, man, I want to break out, man. Wait up, grab my face, take yo. a look at yeah. the time. Whip out my tools and grab my outline. Got a little bit of stimo, a little bit of sex. Hook up my style and make it complex. We a few weeks of cloud. The D.A.T. crowd, we be rocking the line. And I say it out loud. Rocking the sound. That's the top of the line. D.A.T. outline. All in, all in, all in. Yeah. yeah, you wanna go see what's with the band, man? Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, it's good for something. Cool. Check him out, man. Yo, what's up? How you doing, bro? Yeah, man, what's been up, man? What we doing, man? Man, I was just organizing. Get ready to get political. 
getting ready to start a big um, graffiti mirror around this whole community center. Different things, we're gonna have different things of political people on the wall, party people on the wall, messages. So it's gonna you know, be a whole big center wall. So what's like, what's like the political kind of stuff, you know, so what's going down now, you know what I'm saying? The well, political, we're trying to link up with groups that are saying something. We're gonna hook up with the Nation of Islam, the NAACP, the Amnesty International, so you know, we're getting ready to do our thing. So what about what about pressure from the police? You know what I mean? Cause like we had as well last year. You know what I'm saying? And like the, over there now, it's like there's a conscious black man. Nobody wants to say nothing. To get noticed now, you gotta get on the mass. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But you all split up. You got London there. You got Nottingham there. You got Birmingham there. You know what I'm saying? It's all split up. What well, are you gonna have to organize in each city? East town or whatever county, whatever they call it, <laughs> and they're gonna have to take a stand. We live in the same world, you know. So they know there's a big, you know, they know time gap, like years. Right. We're right. the same nuclear threat, the same kind of shit. You know, we're so all we're one like, nation. Yeah. Everybody think they something different, something wrong with them. Yeah. Wolverhampton, like Hansworth, is one of the most volatile areas in the West Midlands. A dead man collapsed in a scuffle with two policemen inside this shop. Eyewitnesses claim he collapsed because he was being held in an arm lock oh, by a police officer. Yeah, as soon as the circumstances of Tristan McCurvin's death oh, became clear, oh, he was clearly in the Oh, no, I'm telling you, I'm going to push it too far this time, boy. He'd apparently been trying to buy clothes with a stolen credit card. No, no, you know, that they ain't no excuse to kill a guy, man. They ain't no excuse to try. Yeah, police restraint, I remember. Police restraint. Don't police forget about it. The rumours on the street were, and they were put out maliciously, he dies through being beaten to death, stabbed to death, had his neck broken. I thought it was easy to know. I thought it was easy to know. It was almost certain, almost certain, he died of cardiac arrest, uh, probably enhanced by, by drugs. And bearing in mind... Drugs, this man. Is what sort of drugs are these men? Talking about a teenager. He could have already excused himself for his death, though, Jess. I can't believe that. That's just like... It seemed, and I'm convinced. I plead my own case, of course. I have to aim off because I'm... I'm obviously prejudiced in this. I'm convinced it was the right decision. It is a pity, in a sense, that the, 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 the post-mortem contradicted it. All of these, man, it's gonna, it's gonna cause some eruptions. East Town's concerned, it's got no boundaries, man, because there's always something happening, man. There's people who get killed and you lose friends and having to hustle just to make a living, man. Like, for most kids, there's, there's no way out, man. It's got like a sentence that's never going to finish. I could have chipped out a long time ago, man, because the system's so twisted up, man, that the system doesn't understand anything anymore, man. With all that confusion, really, the only way I could find a way out was just to try and use my art as, as a statement man just put my foot down as far as i can see like doing the commissions for the school and and getting involved with the community it's, it's kind of giving me a little bit of space to breathe it's kind of corny graph and and you know but it's all it's fun man that's the word i want man it's just fun and like young kids will look at that because they're looking at gray brick man they'll just see color man and they look at it and they, they think this is nice man and it's like it kind of puts something in the back of the head I mean, when I was a kid, I didn't have nothing to look at, man. I mean, I was looking at people in care, and I was looking at care assistants, and was looking after me, man. It's like, all those feelings I wanted to portray have just, have just been like, I've had no sweat, man. It's like I've been able to go outside of my head, man. And as far as I live my time in Eve Town, I was just going to paint, man. There's nothing else for me to do. I mean, it's a front line, an urban no-go. It's just put that pressure on me to go out there and say, well, sure, I've just got to get out here and do this thing, man, because nobody else is going to listen to what I'm going to say.